Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Flager, the student government president here at Gann University. I'm a 3 and 3 political science pre-law major here, and I'm excited to be here in this interview. Thank you for having me. So I'm a member of the Student Government Association here at Gannon. Um, as president, I serve as the liaison between the student body and the faculty, staff, and administration here at Gannon to represent the student voice and make sure that the needs of the student body are heard um, and as well run the Student Government Association as a whole, which represents the student body and gets the student voice out there. We host a variety of events. We are responsible for club organizational funding. So we kind of encompass a lot of what um, we do here at Gannon and what the student needs are. I'm also involved in Pi Kappa Alpha. I'm a fraternity member there. I'm also on the board of trustees as part of my role for the Student Government Association and it's too many committees within the university to even count. So SGA kind of acts as a gateway and a door to all these different committees, whether it be the Leadership Transition Committee, which I serve on now, uh, the President's Leadership Team, the Board of Trustees, uh, there really is too many to count, but I serve on quite a few. I am now a member of the Leadership Transition Committee. The goal of the Leadership Transition Committee is to um, engage in a search to find the next president of Gannon University and find a candidate that not only fits the needs of the university, but also the qualities we want to uphold. So there are several different members of the com committee to they represent different community members here at Gannon, whether it be the students or the faculty or the staff or the president's leadership team or the board of trustees. We all gather together to find the best way to hear the different um, groups' voice so every voice here at Gannon can be heard and those voices can be reflected in the next president. So it's a great opportunity to be involved and I am personally very happy and honored to represent the students on the committee and find the next president that best fits the student body. So I am a political science 3-3 pre-law major here at Gannon. So Gannon University offers a 3-3 and -3 program where you do three years of undergrad here and then three years of law school at Duquesne Law School. So I'm in that three years 3-3 three and -3 program here. Um, kind of the reasoning for being in that major is one, I want to be a lawyer, so I kind of wanted to fast track and be in an accelerated program to go to law school. But also, my undergrad in political science is focused on politics because later on I would like to get into politics. And as you can see, with being the student government president, I my dreams and aspirations kind of reflect that, um, that goal to eventually get into politics and maybe make some change for the better. So. so time management is definitely a very important quality to have when you're an SGA president or if you're just involved in anything and you're busy. Um, I am extremely proficient in the Outlook calendar. My typical day consists of no fewer than four meetings with the classes going on. Um, last week I had a day where I had 11 meetings in one day. That was a new record for me, but typically a day is some, run somewhere between four and seven meetings in one day. So kind of balancing that with both school and family time and friends time is fraternity time. It can be difficult, but um, being proficient in time management, whether, whether that be using the Outlook calendar or a typical um, planner is very useful. I use all of the above. So Outlook calendar, planner, notes on my phone. I keep track of everything so I can make sure that I can fit 11 meetings in one day while still attending six classes. And maybe that means I'm um, in meetings and classes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and I don't have much time till after that. But having that balance between those and being able to fit those in all in one day is what I hope makes me both a good student and both a good leader. So there's been many people who have inspired me throughout my life. Um, Specifically within Student Government Association, um, I released a letter out a little bit ago to the alumni. I talked about inspiration from the formal Vice President of Finance, Dominique Booker. Um, she kind of inspired me by showing me that there was a way to kind of balance this work life, this family life, this student government life, but also trying to kind of striving to be that student leader. She focused a lot of her time in SGA as being the Chief Financial Officer, the Treasurer in SGA. Um, of focusing to spend our money on ways that this benefits the student body directly. So I kind of pick up on that when I chose to run for student government. I want to kind of reflect what Dom had started there as the VP of Finance. This is an interesting one. I really like to run. So I've participated in two marathons. I'm slated to run a third one this spring. I took a couple 
couple year break during COVID, but I'm getting back into it. So if you go by the Rec and Wellness Center, you can see me running up on the track above the basketball courts, but I'm a really avid runner. In high school, I ran cross country and track, and I did several other sports too, but running's always kind of been my strong suit, and I've always loved to run. The gaining experience for me was making friends the first weekend I was here in North Hall and just going down to other floors, meeting people who I'm friends with still to this day and that I imagine I'll be friends with in five to 10 years down the road. So the Gannon experience can be connecting with those people one-on-one. -on -one. The class sizes are small enough here at Gannon that not only am I friends with them in North Hall and now a year later, but I also have classes with them last year and now a year later as well. So although it's only been a year, a little over a year for me here at Gannon, I've been able to connect with the students here at Gannon and it's been an awesome experience. It really has. Three words that I would say describe me are motivated, um, motivated to get things done, dedicated, um, dedicated to the cause here at Gannon, whether that be just the Gannon experience or like I said, motivated to get things done, but also uh, energetic. I think energetic is a good word. I'm happy to be here at Gannon. I'm happy with what I do. I'm happy to be a friend. I'm happy to be anything. I'm just, I have energy and I put that energy towards what I do. Some advice I'd have for the general student body here at Gannon is to be involved and be engaged with what the, what's going on here at Gannon. When I first came to Gannon, I saw all these clubs and organizations that were going on, and I finally found a couple that fit me, whether that be fraternity life or if it's something else for you. Um, also, SGA kind of felt the right, the right place for me, so I encourage you to find those two or three clubs or organizations that kind of fit you. Um, and be involved. It doesn't matter what you're involved in, but if you're involved and engage on campus, you're gonna have a good time, and it allows you to be more connected with the student body. So I really do encourage all the students to be involved and engaged. And it doesn't actually have to be, be joining a fraternity or being involved in the club, but attending events and meeting new friends, um, that's what I'd say inspired me. Going to events at the, on campus, whether that be APP events or SGA events or a club throwing an event, and just seeing all the, people, the fun that people were having and kind of like the structure behind setting up those events, that was something I enjoyed and something that inspired me. So I do recommend getting involved on campus for sure.